one of the things that I talked about a little bit before is Allegro Cache. Allegro Cache is really an enabling technology for us. We wouldn't be able to um, to do this with uh, without a persistent store. And many folks ask us when we talk about, you know, why didn't you use Oracle? Why didn't you use a standard relational database? And the answer would be, well, quite simply, it's in, it would be um, very expensive, if not impossible, to uh, to deliver the kind of of a product that we're de dealing with in some economical uh, market window and cost envelope that is necessary to make money. All right, and and um, most people kind of their eyes shoot up in the air when I say that. I'm saying, yeah, you can do anything you want with a relational database if you have enough money uh, and time and people. And unfortunately, in a small to mid-sized company, you're constrained by all three. Um, so we we've, we've been using Allegro Cash now for. Uh, Three plus years, uh, we actually started using Allegro Cache before it was 1.0. Um, you know, uh, developed by uh, John Fodoraro here at uh, at Franz, and over the years we've seen it develop uh, into a more and more powerful tool. Um, it's object based, so it's a simple extension on object oriented programming. We've already talked about that. Um, the thing about it is, it allows us to model data and incorporate legacy data in a very, very simple and a very, very uh, economical way. You simply can, uh, a, a, in, in decision support, you always get new data. You know, your subject matter experts discover new rules, new things. And you, they want to incorporate new refinements into the data model. And you can do that very simply by extending the classes, the object-oriented classes, and you can uh, preserve all the existing data that's already there. And in a relational database, as, as many of you have worked in relational databases know, that as you add more and more complexity to the relational databases, it becomes a rat's nest of arrows and connections and, and indexes. And we have just found that you know, by using uh, as an extension of object-oriented database, it's just uh, object orientation, I'm sorry, it's just very simple to understand and maintain and extend. Um, we, we do not have to um, perform uh, gymnastics okay, or relational gymnastics. And um, now, you know, we have, uh, you know, a lot of people also ask, well, what about, you know, RDF and all this new technology that's coming on the market? And we think RDF has a great future. Um, and uh, we're looking, actually looking at Allegro Graph for some large-scale unstructured data mining. Un unstructured data mining. Um, so um, we think that the, the family of tools, Allegro Cache and Allegro Graph, have tremendously long legs and um, a lot of viability in the big data marketplace. 